Okay, everybody, welcome back. It is the next day. We are on our way to go pick up a mud toy slash trail vehicle for you guys to make some goof around content in between while we're waiting for the silver truck to get back here. And just while we have downtime and stuff set the shop getting either repainted or parts installed, etc., we have something else to goof around with. We're gonna hop in the car right now. We got the catalog hooked up with the trailer. Why do we need the little trailer? The vehicle that we might be picking up doesn't have doors on it and the doors are coming separate. So we have to pick the doors up and trailer them back. So we're gonna go pick this thing up. I'm guessing if the doors are off, uh, you probably know what it is. The first stop was unsuccessful. The guy told me last night that all it needed was gas, but he wasn't sure, and it wasn't a definite diagnosis. Went with him in his car, 15 minutes advanced auto, 15 minutes back. So we go to start it up with a new crank crank sensor or something for this Jeep. I'll just give it away now because we didn't get that one. Jeep Cherokee. And it just made this gosh dang awful grinding sound and nothing was happening. It was just like Rrr! like just no starting, no cranking, no turning over at all. He's like, well, that's great. He's like, well, hasn't done that before. So then he tried to jump it to see if maybe he just wasn't getting enough power to turn it over and it was making that sound. So I said, well, you've got my contact info. See you later. So we're on our way right now to look at a different Jeep. This one's not as cool, but I think we can make it pretty awesome. The one that we looked at had no doors, no front fenders. It had 33 inch mud tires on it and a six inch lift. I mean, it was, it was pretty sweet. The one that we're looking at now is pretty much bone stock in terms of suspension has its doors has plush leather interior and everything else but it's missing but it's missing the front clip we'll see what happens if we decide we like this one or not on our way to look at jeep number two for the day this one is a totally different setup this is a jeep cherokee same year but the other one had 268,000 miles on it, which I wasn't worried about mileage because I'm gonna use it as a mud toy. But this one's got 177,000 miles on it. It's got that tan leather interior in it. It's of course four wheel drive, but it doesn't have like a lift. It doesn't have big mud tires on it. It doesn't have the doors ripped off and all that other stuff. But what that might enable us to do is mess around with it ourselves, which I'm looking forward to. And I, and I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily put a bunch of money into the Jeep, just because that's not really like what I have in mind for it. I'll give you a rundown on what I have in mind once we get it back, if this ends up being one that we want to buy. So we are in the new Jeep, and this thing is a whipper, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's it's kind of, it's funny, but it's super cool. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this stupid thing. Well, this is great. It's cold. It'll be fun, they said. The freaking studs, now that there's no cars coming, there's the freaking studs broke on this Jeep. Came clean off, the wheel went flying. Freaking amazing. The stupid thing. Yeah, it is a stupid thing, you yeah. know? Stupid thing sitting on the side of the road. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh guys, Jeeps! Get a Jeep, they're so cool. That would be awesome if we could have a reliable trail vehicle. The freaking studs broke. The studs, oh my gosh. I picked this Jeep up and I, okay, yes I drove it before I bought it, which I actually, generally speaking, I just look over everything for rust. I look for blow-by on like diesel trucks. This was a different situation. Didn't hear any ticks, didn't hear any knocks, nothing. Then I took it around like a half mile loop there and back and I revved it up hard and drove it hard and hit the brakes hard. Like just making sure that it stopped and went and stopped and went it's before it got in traffic. Cause we're in town, you can see there's buildings everywhere. Drove good, drove great. Frame is actually pretty clean underneath. The only rust on the body of the Jeep is just the rockers on each side and that's it, everything else is pretty darn clean. I was like, $1,000, this is so cheap, you know? And I know you can get them for like 500 to 1,000 bucks and then more if they're like in really good shape. But I'm like, it's missing a bumper and headlights and a grill, but they said that they would bring it tomorrow. Five minutes away from where we bought it and then felt a little wobble. It's like, oh, that's not good. Boom, and then the wheel literally just freaking comes off the thing. Pulled it off onto the sidewalk here in town and three lanes of traffic all going one way, which is great, so. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's day one of the Jeep project. I'm gonna be slapped with a tow bill and getting the rotor and probably the caliper 
and the studs replaced, like that whole hub assembly essentially. I don't know what that costs, it might not be much at all. The bummer part right now is the fact that I spent most of my day looking around at Jeeps and test driving Jeeps, ruling out Jeeps that were just not gonna work, and then I found one that I thought, okay, this one, this one's good. It's pretty stock, so there's a lot of cheap mods that we can do to it to make it like a mean little trail monster. It was actually pretty clean underneath. The only rust on it was the rockers, and it was just really, really faded. And the guy said that it had come from Florida about six years ago, and that's when it was already old, but then, you know, that's when the rockers really started to rust on it. Because it was actually pretty darn nice for the most part overall, and the interior was super clean, no rips. I mean, I was kind of, kind of impressed, other than the radio mix. They had all the parts and they're supposed to bring it by here tomorrow, but yeah, I've never had that happen before I've had a tire blow up on a truck before going down the road But I've never had one like literally the studs break and like your tire just goes rolling down the road next to you And you're stranded on the side of the road sparks flying along the side of it as you're trying to limp over to the sidewalk I mean not a very fun experience. What are you gonna do about it? It's over now, so Anyways guys, I'm not sure how much video I even got of this. Now we're back at square one because I was gonna buy the Jeep to have content to film while the silver truck's getting all new paint. Yes, the 24 valve, the silver 24 valve that you guys can enter to win right now at lmpgear.com and every $1 is gonna get you 20 entries until January 17th, which is a Sunday, and then 20X entries are gone and the limited drop is gone. So take advantage of that if you wanna get a truck. It's gonna get brand new paint, new lift, super cool new front bumper, wheels and tires and all that stuff. It's pretty much gonna look like this but with a different style front bumper in silver so keep that in mind it's a pretty sweet truck all that being said I was gonna buy a Jeep for content while the truck was gone over this next roughly probably week before I can get that thing picked up now we're back at square one uh, no vehicle currently to do content stuff with and I can't take this mudding of course that's my wife's so yeah I don't know I found another Jeep for 500 bucks same type of Jeep, but it's white for 500 bucks. And I asked my brother, I said, do we go pick that one up and just give it a go and just see what happens? And then when we get the other one back, sell it or, you know, what? You know, cause I mean, they're so cheap. I mean, it's just whatever. I paid the extra for that one just because of the fact that it had plush leather and all this other stuff and it wasn't all like, I don't know how you'd put it. It wasn't all done up, you know, for like a little trail machine as it is. It was pretty much not touched and I thought I would like that aspect of it for exhaust stuff, suspension stuff, giant tires, cutting fenders, whatever. But yeah, I guess we could always do that with another one. What do you guys say? So hopefully you enjoyed the video, even though you didn't catch on film the part where I actually thought I was going to die going down the road. Please smash that like button so that we can get more views on this video hopefully and I can um, pay for this repair for this Jeep that I have not even gotten to own for more than a total of 10 minutes. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't forget if you want to enter to win that 24 valve our truck of the month that we are giving away. Link is in the description or just go to lmpgear.com, place an order and you are automatically entered to win that truck plus $5,000 cash. Peace. What did you see? You said you saw some stuff. Yeah, I saw sparks and then the tire flying down the road behind you. It was like rolling next to me and he's like, that don't look right. 